What up, what up, what up, what up? I'll let y'all get up in here before we get started. I'm just gonna ask some questions, answer some questions, talk about some guitar stuff, you know. I see y'all coming in the room. I see y'all coming in the room. So let's just take this opportunity to go and answer a couple questions. Well, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I told y'all, listen, you got to be subscribed to this channel because we're going to do this from time to time. We're going to do this from time to time. Hello, Tom and I see all the, see that Tom Anderson. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's my, this is Ivy. Listen, y'all, y'all getting exclusive. I ain't telling nobody what the name is. This is Ivy. So y'all meeting Ivy officially. She is a problem. Yep, she's a problem. She's a killer. Don't push me. What up, what up, what up, what up? The act sounds great. Cool. What's up? Hey, dude, from Thailand. That's what's up. That's what's up, yo. Uh, did, 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 did. Hope everybody's doing well. Listen, I wanted to hop on here really quickly um, and answer some questions, um, guitar-related, um, music-related, industry-related, anything I can answer, I definitely wanted to do that. If you're brand new to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe, yo. Subscribe, 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 and click the bell. To be notified because I love y'all, have you guys on here, you know what I'm saying, and be following me. And also, too, if you're if you've ever heard me mention Carrie's Camp, you're like, yo, what is that? What is Carrie's Camp? You should definitely check it out. K E R R Y S K A M P dot com. When you're looking for RB, Neo, Soul, and Gospel, that's why you come to this channel because you want that stuff anyway. If you really want to do a deeper dive and really connect with the community, Carrie's Camp is a place for you. We have people all over, literally all over the world, students all over the world. And even just last weekend, we had James Valentine, the guitarist, the lead guitarist from Maroon 5, come and speak to the students and really just provide a bunch of insight and, and, and knowledge. That's the one great thing about Carrie's Camp. We're always trying to get like the people that are like in the industry that play for people. Sometimes they may be social media influence guys. It's just whatever the case may be, just getting those people to come and just sit at their feet and see them just drop nuggets and really just see how our stories line up, how a lot of our same ideologies and thought patterns are the same. So it's really cool. So I just wanted to hop on here really quickly, see how you guys are doing, answer a couple questions. If you guys got some questions, I see y'all love the Tom Anderson. I think that's great. <laughs> I see y'all vibing with me on the Tom Anderson. That's what's up. That's what's up. Listen, this Tom Anderson, and I, I did an interview with Tom Anderson um, a few days ago. I think it's going to post tomorrow. Um, we were just talking about how like the uniqueness of this instrument and, and the sound. Andy, what's up? I'm a camper. He said, listen, Andy just said it's well worth the investment. It's well worth the investment. Okay, cool. I love your acoustic performance with Lettucey. Cool. <laughs> what is your approach when rehearsing a new song with her or an artist like that? If, you're, if I'm working with Lettucey, my approach is for them. I want to make sure that, that it feels good. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me show you an example. Okay. And this, this is the kind of stuff that you learn in Carrie's Camp and so much more. This is the reason why you want to be a part of Carrie's Camp because we have stuff for acoustic players just as well. Like... Because I, I realized that when I was playing R&B on acoustic guitar, there wasn't that much information. And so it was really hard for me to find people that could play the way that I play. Let's tune up real quick. So the thing about when you're playing for an artist like Lettucey, one of the things I learned was the rhythmic part. So uh, she's really keen on rhythm you got to make sure you playing that rhythm right so we're gonna say this is a uh, song like uh, uh all right two three four So 
it's a lot of like that rhythmic stuff that's going underneath when you're playing. It's not about you trying to showcase your ability, you're trying to accompany her. And usually when you're playing acoustic gigs, you're the only person that's playing. So it's not like you're trying to, trying to do all your licks. You're, just, you're trying to make it feel good, like as if you got a whole section, a rhythm section, you're playing the guitar, you're playing the strings, you're, you're, you're embodying everybody in this one instrument. So when you're playing for an artist like Lettucey, that is the approach. You want to be as rhythmic as possible and you want to make sure you're holding down the chords so that way she can sing those melodies and let her. When you have an artist like that, that can scat and do all these other tricks, let them be the focus. You're just holding it down. You're making the people feel good because if you're doing that part, that is, you're doing your job. But if you're trying to like overcompensate, it's never going to work out. And then you're going to get in the way of the singer. I'm not so, sure I understand. Listen, my Apple Watch will be trying to talk to us. It's going to get in the way of the singer and you never want to get in the way of the singer. That's one thing that you never want to do. So you want to find yourself being mindful of that. You know what I'm saying? Not getting in the way of the singer. Let's go back. I saw a few other questions. I want to make sure I'm going up, hitting all those up. That was a good, that's a great question. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Okay. I'm only 14. been playing for a few years and I'm already playing in church. That's what's up. Yo, I started playing in church when I was 11. So like, it's dope, man. Stay, stay at it. Stay at it. Um, why does my amp, a solid state, make so much noise on the high gain? I don't know what kind of solid state you have. I have plenty of solid states. Um, I use Quilter and they don't make any kind of noise. They're really quiet. So I'm not sure the brand, it might be the brand, the quality of the brand. Um, and the reason, you know, saying maybe something is wrong with the circuitry. I have no idea. I don't know if it's been banged up or whatever. So I would have to really see it. You know, I would say take it to a tech or something like take it to a, an amp shop. Are Squire necks too narrow for me? I can um, palm a basketball. You would have to play one. I can't tell you, you know, and then the thing is, if depending on how long you've been playing guitar would determine like if you've been playing for a long time, you know what kind of neck profile you like would determine what kind of, you know, saying guitar you should definitely get. Is HSS or P90s better for R&B? Uh, it's personal preference. I personally um, have both. I have a guitar with P90s in it and I have a guitar. I have several guitars with the HSS setup, and it just it just depends on what you're being asked to do because the tones are completely different. One of my favorite guitar players, Too Smooth. That's what's up. Oh shoot, this is live. Yeah, man, this is live, Danny. What's a low budget brand uh, with wide necks? I, I Honestly, again, I, I don't know what your budget is, so I would tell you, you would just have to shop around. You just gotta shop around. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Thank you for all you're doing, uh, inspiring from France. I appreciate that, man. Best humbuckers for an HSS. I am personally, I love the Cremas from Lambertone. That's my personal pr preference that I like. Um, I would definitely say check them out. What's up, Carrie? Any good tips um, for army nail soul strat tones for finger style when using? Yeah, it's all about the influx of how you do it. So, like, how aggressive that you are with your fingers. That's what will determine what you're trying to do. And then, like, you know, a plucking kind of technique. You know what I'm saying? I don't personally don't like chorus, but if you like chorus, you got to find what so it's not super saturated. It's not so wavy. You want to find something that's kind of like. Right there, just a nice general flow. Sometimes people will do chords and it's just like so wavy and it's just like, man, you can't even hear and understand exactly what it is. And sometimes it just kind of pitches the, the notes out of tune. So be careful when you're doing uh, chorus and you're adding chords to your playing. But yeah, when you're using finger style, it's really the finesse in your fingers about the, you know, do you pluck? Do you kind of strum? Do you, whatever you do, you know what I'm saying? Man, finally got my hands on those creamless uh, from Lambertones and they blew me away. <laughs> the videos don't do them justice. That's what I'm trying to let Isaiah, let the people know, man. Listen, that's why I have them in so many of my guitars because Lambertone, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you the story how we got connected. I was at NAM demoing for another company, and a friend of mine was like, yo, you need to check out these pickups. And I was like, yeah, 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 whatever. I heard enough. I don't really care about pickups. He's like, no, no, no. Just try this guitar. I started playing the guitar. I thought it was a guitar at first. He was like, nah, man, it's these pickups. Who put it? He took me to the actual booth and I started listening to the pickups and I was just like, man, yo, send me, send me, send me a pack, send me a pack. So he sent me a pack and put, I installed him in my guitar and I was like, man, it blew, blew me away. So yeah, by all means, man, if you don't, you have not tried out the Cremas, if you have not tried out the Lambertones triple shots for the single coil, you should definitely like look into it. It's definitely going to be a game changer. I've been playing and singing at church all my life. That's what's up, Jack. Not get the F chord down. Um, or any bar chord for that matter. Any tips, Dustin? I don't know. Like, is the action like super high on your guitar? Because there, it shouldn't be that difficult. It's really like just laying your hands and applying a little bit of pressure. But if you have your action super high, it's going to be kind of difficult. Just got me a, any uh, a boss in me eighty. Any tips? So Perry, um, if you want to become a camper, you can go look at. I've got videos for days that talk about my settings 
on how to use the Boston Me 80. I literally have it on the floor right here. You can see that. I don't know if you can see that Boston Me 80. You see it right there. Listen, I've got plenty of videos for my campers exclusively because they get the they get the first and the foremost. They get the they get the sauce. They get the juice. So I highly encourage you if you have not thought about becoming a camper, you really want to know all of my tips and my tricks for real. Go check out carriescamp.com, K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P.com. If you got the Helix, I have Helix profiles on there. If you play the Boston Me 80, I, I go through my all my settings and tell you specifically how to set your board up in order to make it sound like R&B. Uh, Carrie, what's good? All the way from South Africa. That's what's up. What do you think about uh, the Fox plugins? I've never used them, so I, can, I don't have any kind of personal preference on that, so I've never used it. Outside of the major and the minor seven shapes, uh, what other chord falls in the number system? So they all fall in the number system. So minor 11s, for you can do those for twos and threes. And for the five, you could do a minor nine. So there's a lot of different options. You don't have to just use that one particular voicing of the minor sevens and the major sevens. Uh, become a camper is, is well worth it. Listen, the campers are speaking. They they are telling you. If you become a camper, it's well worth it. It's, it's really well worth it. Finally switched to an electric a good while ago and still thinking uh, the strings are too loose and slick. Are there strings that I can buy that are more comfortable? I mean, what brand are you using? That, that would help me out, you know what I'm saying? All right, Perry, I look for you, man. We're gonna be looking for you. I'm looking for you to become a camper. You know what I'm saying? I, I think you're really gonna love it, so. But yeah, man, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm here to answer questions, you know what I'm saying? We got, we're gonna stay on here for, for a little bit, not too, too crazy long, but we're gonna stay on for a little bit because we have some rehearsal to do. We gotta get ready for a, a service recording and a taping tonight, so we gotta do some recordings, so. We got to get it together. We got to get it right, right. Okay, I've been messing with the 11s shape. I'll keep keep at it. Yeah, you got you got 11s, you got 9s. Um, you got, instead of for your 4s, uh, instead of doing like a major 7, you could do a major 9. There's a lot of different options. You just got to play around and see if those voicings work for the type of song that you're doing. That's really what you want to do. I also want to encourage those who are just now tuning in, if you have not already signed up, um, and subscribe to this channel, please do me a huge favor and do that. Listen, I would love to have you follow this journey and be a part of this, this journey and this dream. Uh, like, subscribe, um, click the bell to be notified because I'm going to be hopping on here from time to time, really, really dropping nuggets, doing lessons, expressing stuff, answering questions. You don't, I don't want you to miss out. You know what I mean? Uh, what have you been, what have been some of your favorite uh, camera profiles so far? Uh, like the Silver Jubilee, the Cal Tweed 401, Just Rock the Lead, uh, the 72 Super Lead, 87 Mark Lead, uh, Silver Jubilee, R2, R3, R4, uh, SK Bogner 03. I mean, there's a lot of different options. You know what I'm saying? And like, I like the Praise and Worship packs because I love that reverb. It just, it just fills the space, man. So I, I love that too. You know what I mean? It's a great question. What up? I'm still um, playing at 33. I'm 50 now. I started playing at 33. I'm 50 now. And I surprised myself. Thanks for the tutorials. How often should I be practicing? Honestly, Isaac, if you really just, it just depends on what your your goals are. If you're trying to get it so nice, I mean, every day, the more you can have your instrument in your hand, the better you'll become. But if you're just looking for like leisure, like a hobby kind of thing, then every now and then, you know what I'm saying? Effects newbie here. Um, my audio tends to be too dry despite already having reverb. Uh, is there any notes that I can play or the reverse? Da, 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 da. Uh, Wayne, so I would say, like, are you playing through an amp? Are you playing out live? Like, what are you what are you doing if your stuff is too dry? And then what kind of reverb are you using? Uh, whatever brand store strings, da, 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 and the cheap. Yo, don't be talking crap about the Diodarios. Diodarios is nice. Man, there's plenty of options. So if you're having a problem with strings, man, just try a different brand. That's really all you got to do. You know what I mean? So... Just try a different brand. There's all types of brands. There's Ernie Balls. Uh, there's, I mean, there's Music Man. There's all types of brands that you can find, you know, different types of strings. If you're having an issue with one set, because one brand does not work for everybody. You know what I mean? Do the camp. <laughs> the end. Amen. <laughs> Let them know, man. Say it loud for them. Let them know. Is there any Agape, Jerry, or Spanky uh, lessons coming? Recently discovered them phenomenal guitarists. No. What we're teaching is for the masses. We're not teaching specific genre, like specific niches. What Agape Jerry does is a specific niche. What Spanky did, none of us really will be able to like encapsulate and understand and break down what he's doing. The stuff that I'm teaching you is enough sauce that's gonna have you occupied. If you can't comprehend that, then you're never gonna comprehend the stuff that Spanky and Agape are doing. Um, I have a bridge set uh, said to be floating, but I can't make it too smooth. Any tips? 
So, Brandon, if you have it floating, like, how aggressive are you with the tremella bar? You know what I'm saying? Like, because you, sh you should feel like you're shaking an old person's hand. And it's just, it's technique. The more you apply that technique, the easier you'll get at it. You know what I'm saying? I'm using a uh, the spring and the hall reverb from the Zoom. That's probably where your issue's coming from. I personally don't like Zoom effects. So that's probably where your issue's coming from. I would not use the Zoom multi-effects. That's just my personal preference when it comes to like reverb. And are you using that like straight through your DI? Are you playing off your amp? Does your amp have reverb? Um, how often, I said, do you know how to play Mr. Sandman? But I haven't played it in a long time. So I would say no right now, no, because that's not the focus. Any other questions? <laughs> Help me out. Before I get ready to jump back into this rehearsal, I've got, like I said, I have a live taping um, in a few hours. So I've got to go over this song to make sure I'm solid. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to stop what I was doing and really take this time to really talk to you guys. How much should you feel the frets when your head's sliding down? You shouldn't feel them that much, but you got to feel them a little bit. I mean, that's, that's part of what it is. You know what I mean? I need to know if mine need filing. Take it to an amp tech. Take it to an amp tech and tell them what the what the issues are and be like, yeah, I think it should be filed down. They can tell you more so than anything else. You know what I mean? Thanks for the Miguel. How many drinks tutorial? Oh, you're more than welcome, Danny. Just looked up the Cremas. Uh, do you use the coil tap configuration? For one strat, I do. Everything else, no. Uh, no questions. Just do 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 do. Love that new guitar, bro. Sweet, appreciate it, man. What chords do you recommend to play um, as in a set loop while practicing? You use any, it does not matter. You use anything, anything that you can like use in order to make your 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 loops feel good that you can practice all around it. Join the camp, gonna give it a ride for seven days and we'll go from there. That's what's up, John, that's what's up. How do you feel about the matchless amps? Matchless amps are cool. I've used them for a couple studio sessions. I, haven't, I hadn't had any issues at them, so they sound cool. I love to learn R&B and also open tuning, voicing stuff. Sign up and join the camp. That's what you need to do. Go to carryscamp.com, K-E-R-O-I-S-K-A-M-P.com and try it out. Is that Raven better than the Iconic uh, feel-wise? Yes, Brandon, completely feel-wise. And it's a lot lighter, a lot lighter. And I like the trim system on the Raven. That's one of the reasons why I went with Tom Anderson and we we spoke about how to build this guitar. Uh, when you hear a song and know, how to, and know some of the keys, how do you break down the specific key, if any, what happens? So listen, when you're listening for the keys of the song, this is a part of the air training. This is another reason why you should become a camper because I, I specifically go through how to hear a song, even if it starts with a minor key, to understand what the what scale we're in. We got to understand the scale so it all works together. So when you're listening to different songs, figure out what key, understand what scale that, that you see these kind of notes that resonate in this because my hands are placed in a certain way. I'm playing these certain kind of chords. It's got to be in this scale. And then if you just want to pause the song, run the scale and see that these notes fall in that scale, then... There you go. There you have it. Mr. Red, what up, Chino Hills? I'm loving Carrie's camp. That's what's up. The URL is broken on the, for the website. No, it's not, John. K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P dot com. It's not broken, John. You probably just didn't type the right thing. Uh, do you prefer a particular brand for acoustics? Taylor's, Justin. I prefer Taylor all day. Oh, I haven't done the ear training yet. I gotta jump on it. Man, jump in the ear training, bro. Don't stop playing. Jump in the ear training. That's what it's there for. Become a camper. It's amazing. Andy Smith, just, listen, he's dropping nuggets on y'all. He said, become a camper. It's amazing. And I'm not, listen, these campers are coming out. They're supporting. They're telling you exactly what it is. It's a camp, a live weekly thing, or it's a lot of videos and tips. So how the camp works is it's multiple lessons from intermediate, advanced, all the way to beginner, right? We do live Q and A's monthly. We also do something we call Carrie's Corner, where I'll get different guitars in the industry and I have them come and we'll do something on Saturdays where we get to sit there and listen to them. I'll ask them a couple questions, then I'll open up to the students. How often, if ever, do you guys get a chance to sit at the feet of somebody that plays or performs on the stage and you get to ask them questions? The answer is never, because that never happens. Even if you follow them or whatever, you try to send them a question, they're probably not gonna answer. It just is what it is. But I have a lot of rapport and a lot of relationships with different artists, so I'm able to get them to sit down and do an interview and answer questions. That's what it is. Thanks to Carrie, I can now figure out how to play a song by ear. That's what's up, Lucas. That's what's up. How do you feel about three notes 
uh, per string. It You do whatever works for you. <laughs> do whatever works for you. Uh, do you know how to play Tell Me Something Good by Shaka Khan and Rufus? Yes, James, I definitely know how to play that song. I agree with you, uh, what you said about the Zoom reverb, laugh out loud. <laughs> yeah, man, it's just like, yeah, I would not be trying to get reverb off of a Zoom. Um, I can't wait to join the camp. I tried uh, the free trial and I've already learned a lot. That's what's up, Quentin. Um, is there a monthly plan for Carrie's camp? If you have a question, please email support at carrytosmooth.com. Uh, do you have any good album recommendations? I don't know what kind of music you like, so it just, it just depends. Uh, this dude helped me level up <laughs> so much. Get in the camp. That's what's up. Carrie's Corner is worth the price alone. Listen, I'm trying to tell you, like, Carrie's Corner by itself, You are there's no way that you guys are going to get the opportunity to sit and ask people like Jules the Wolf, Melanie Fay. We've had Jarius Mosey on. We've had Eric Walls on. We've had all types of guitarists that you would never think that you would get an opportunity to sit at their feet and ask them questions. That's just not going to happen on no other site. There's nobody else that's doing this. I'm trying to tell y'all. You know what I mean? Somebody's like, Carrie's got that touch. Laugh out loud. He can play. Tell me something good. I bet my life on it. Oh, yeah, definitely. I can play Tell Me Something Good. It's an A flat. The song is an A flat, just so y'all know. <laughs> Facts. He's got one of my favorite guitarists outside of Carrie's camp and said, da 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 da, in case you didn't know. Uh, there's no better deal plan. No, there's no better deal, period. That's what's up. What are you listening to right now? Right now, I'm listening to songs I got to learn for tonight. That's what I'm listening to right now. The camp is worth it. So many good exercises, a thing to spark your creativity. Worth the buy. That's what's up. Uh, would you recommend a first-time guitar player uh, to buy to play in a band at a church? Yeah, by all means, play at church, man. That's that's the best way to like cut your teeth and like get your sweat equity. You know what I'm saying? I play all songs by ear all the time, but there are some guitar solos. That are hard for me. It's James, you gotta work on I mean, continue to work on your ear so you can transcribe the songs and the solos. That's what you gotta do. You know what I mean? Uh, if you wanna take your guitar playing to the next level, Carrie's Camp is all listen, let Carrie's Camp all day. I'm trying to tell you. Where's the camp info? If you wanna join Carrie's Camp, you go to K-E-R-R-Y-S K-A-M-P dot com. Carrie's Camp with a K. K-E-R-R-Y-S K-A-M-P dot com. That's all you need to do. Type it in there, check it out. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna love the fact that you you're about to be really taking your guitar playing to the next level. And what's crazy is we had some guitar players that had joined for six months when we were running this promotional, and just to see the growth in their playing, it was mind blowing. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, what are your thoughts on playing this style on a nylon guitar? Anything is possible. Anything is it possible? Anything is possible. I found it in the description. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. When is your vocal course coming out? I, vocal course? Bro, you got the wrong channel. <laughs> you don't want me to sing. No, 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 no. You don't want me to sing. Mm -mm, it's not a pretty sight. It's not a pretty thing. You don't want me to sing. You do not want me to sing. Yes, we cover music theory in Carrie's Camp. Um, have you tried playing any BTS songs? What is what is BTS? I don't know what that is. I probably haven't. Uh, ha ha, sing cat, man. No, mm -mm. that's not my forte. Listen, one thing you'll learn about me: if I don't know how to do something very well, you probably ain't getting it. You know what I'm saying? Not from here. <laughs> not from here. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All those that are just coming in here, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do me a huge favor and subscribe to this channel, and click the bell to be notified because I will be doing these a lot more often, and I don't want you to miss out. And when I'm doing these on Saturday, I drop a lot of information and answer questions too. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you to K-pop band stuff. No, I don't play any kind of K-pop band stuff. No, I don't. That's not. That's I haven't. That's not really where I'm putting my focus in right now. Because right now, most of my focus is on either learning these records or working on other records. So, matter of fact, yo, this this is what we gonna do because I love y'all. This is an Urban Soul record I was just working on. Y'all wanna listen to it? Speaking of Zoom multi effects, can you recommend a better device? The Boss ME80, hands down. Y'all want to y'all want to listen to this song that I start working on? BTS or K-pop is what I mean. I don't I don't listen to any kind of K-pop or, or BTS. Uh, do you have a pro? It says, do you have to be a pro to understand the camp? No, the camp is for literally for beginners who have never seen a guitar a day in their life who just want to learn how to play. People who've been around guitar for a little bit, intermediate, have a general knowledge, and people that are more that are advanced. It's for every level. You know what I mean? Uh, 
List some albums you've been working, you've been digging. Um, yes, 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 yes. All right, cool. Let's play the song. Let's play the song. Here we go. That's enough of that one. Y'all want to hear another one? <laughs> y'all want? Do y'all want to hear another one? Let me move that to this folder. All right, cool. Let's listen to. Let's listen to some more. I got another one I was working on earlier this week too. All right, cool. Let's just check this one out. Uh, we did this one a few days ago. Y'all ready? If y'all ready, let me hear y'all say yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's another one. guitar I use this one I use the boss Emmy 80 bruh listen that's I that's all I did I didn't no other fancy equipment just straight guitar boss Emmy 80 straight into my interface and we just we cut this record you know what I'm saying so you ain't got to have like this industry kind of stuff. If the tone and everything is in your hands and your ability right here and in your heart and how you play it, that's what I'm trying to show you guys how to do. That's why, that's why it's so important to be a part of this camp because this camp gives you the access to really learn how to unpack and play to your full potential. Bro, I'm trying to show y'all like the sauce of the sauce. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm using a Scarlet. I'm using a Focus right. I ain't using nothing that's crazy. I'm, my stuff is... Cost effective, bro, because I am frugal. I need to let y'all understand it. I'm frugal, bro. I ain't trying to be out here spending no crazy amount of money on a whole bunch of stuff that I can't work, that I can't figure out how to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm really about the simplicity of something. Use the tools that you have. Don't go out here and spend a whole bunch of money, man. It takes time to acquire equipment. Like all these guitars in the back, bro, either relationships, everything. I didn't buy everything. You know what I'm saying? But it takes time to build up that wet pedal. The Boss ME80. I'm trying to tell you, it's a vibe, bro. It's a vibe. Let's go through. I, I saw a whole bunch of stuff. I saw hands. I saw, yeah, too smooth. All right, cool. Let's go back and read some of these questions. Do, 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 do. I'm a beginner, and I started a year ago. The camp has made me um, pass my friends who've been playing for 15 years. Wow, that's what's up. That's what's up. That, that got me excited. That got me excited. Oh, sweet, 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 sweet. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I mean, y'all was talking about the song. That's what's up. Number two, that's my vibe. For sure, for sure. <laughs> like how you threw in the shirt. Sweet. Uh, witnesses come out. Honestly, I don't know. Like, we're, they're shopping the tracks around. So, you know what I mean? I just worked on the stuff and they just sent me the record, the final record. Um, how many lessons slash content is on in the camp? There's over 600 videos and I'm adding content every, every week. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of lessons, plenty of work. Definitely. There's a lot of lessons. There's enough stuff to keep you occupied for the rest of your life. Understand me. Understand what I'm saying. Got to roll, Carrie. Oh, got to roll, Carrie and, and Camp family. Have a great day. Most dev, most dev. Uh, the 80s is kicking in. The 808s, probably is what you mean. Uh, Carrie, what kind of amp are you using? Uh, what pedals, what compressor? So right now, in this living room, I'm in my studio, I'm not using any amps. I'm just going straight through the monitors. If I'm playing out live, I usually normally use a Bad Cat Lynx. Um, at the church that I play at, I'm using my Quilter um, Mini Reverb uh, 101 with 212 cabinets, and I use the Helix. So, have you thought about getting rock guitarists to come, like Danny De La Cruz? He's a beast. Uh, you know what? I'll think about it. I'll look and see. You know what I'm saying? Like I have to reach out and just see if they if they respond because a lot of these guitarists sometimes are like super super busy, and it just depends. Uh, can you do a tutorial on videos on all things key 
C related. Man, I've done a lot of videos where I'm in the key of C, so like you just gotta watch. <laughs> I've tried offering the Boston Me 80, but don't ship it to South Africa. Man, my bad, bro. I don't know. Like, I don't know what you gotta do. Yeah, I don't know what you gotta do, bro. Uh, join Carrie's camp in July. Man, if you're um, on the fence about joining Carrie's camp, you need to join. Excellent lessons there, man. I appreciate that. I seriously appreciate that. Listen, I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play it out because I got to get ready to go and learn these songs. Y'all ready to hear this stuff one more time? We're gonna play it out. I love y'all, man. Y'all y'all do good things, man. Y'all have a great time. Make sure you join Carrie's Camp, K E R O I S K A M P dot com. All right. So, subscribe to this channel. Click the bell to be notified. Listen, I love y'all. We about to jam it out. You know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 hey. Love y'all. Y'all take care, man. Y'all be good.